In this episode, we learned how to make pottery, went to a guitar lesson, and explored some of the amazing museums around town and had a blast. How do you homeschool your kid in India? Today we'll run through some of the things you can do to keep it fun and fresh. Make sure to watch for our surprise at the end. Just a reminder, if you like this video, feel free to hit subscribe. The Parsec Museum just opened earlier this year, and it has many different science experiments that the kids love to do. Bangalore is growing quickly, and with the entrepreneurial mindset of the city, there's so many new places to see, lots of educational tools for the kids to access. Parsec is a great example of what's going on in the city. So this is our mind, it's creating the darkness of COVID, that is death. So Karuna means, in uh, Sanskrit it's Karuna, it means being kind and humble, because life is so uncertain, so that's the thing. Yes, I love that. The exhibits at Parsec are done with a certain amount of thoughtfulness and kindness, which is something we appreciated and really captivated our interest. Well, especially the part where you pop one out or you pop something and then it goes out in the other side so you can just put your whole body and shove it in that and then the whole side it looks like a, a body shape and there's this thing where they take like little knobs and they you put your hand under like a hand like a metal hand and then they hit the hand with something and then you actually feel it on your real hand the Parsec Museum does an excellent job of exploring the intersection of both art and science. There are also some exhibits that are just designed to catch your attention, like this one that has Albert Einstein morphing into a skull. Thanks for finding our phone for us. Appreciate it. <laughs> These are the type of little things that happen all day and you just have to roll with it and be flexible. You roll with things and um, you just get used to being around people and parties and noise. Science and technology in Bangalore. Right, Kyle? Our absolute favorite part of homeschooling is being out in Bangalore at museums, temples, parks, different places. That's where the true learning occurs. this exhibit, underneath the blanket, you're feeling different sensations on your hand so that when the hammer finally comes down on the gold hand, it's absolutely baffling to your body. Is it mine? Yeah, it's it's a good yeah. Another really wonderful thing about homeschooling in Bangalore is the access to experts. Julian, in this case, has chosen guitar lessons. Which one is that? E. E? Yeah. Okay. And then 
and I can play a. Okay, okay, nice. At the Bangalore School of Music, you can do one on one lessons like Julian does, or you can do group lessons. They do a very good job of teaching you music in an easy to understand, easy to comprehend way. Okay, so you just play one fret, first finger, first fret, and then go. In his first lesson, Julian practiced writing down guitar tablature, and he learned the Happy Birthday song, which was pretty fun. One of our favorite homeschooling activities is getting real hands-on experience where the kids can touch things, mold things, and turn them into something that they want. Benson Town in Bangalore has pottery, and we enjoyed the classes very much. Like many crafts, pottery making looks easier than it really is. things about the pottery that was cool when I did pottery it, um, it's cool because it feels really smooth on your hands and the drying is like the drying it doesn't it takes like 30 minutes to dry a pot but you still have to be delicate with it after like 30 minutes and something else cool about it is when you uh, use your hands it just feels really smooth and nice on your hands and fun. <laughs> One of the coolest parts of Sirasha's pots making is that it's been passed down by four generations and the pottery that he does is so skillful. We were honored to learn from Sirash and we'll come back again.
think of all this pottery? Yes, what is it? Can you give cash? Big. Or is it big. just me? It's my wallet. I'll okay, you have cash in there. Yeah. Okay. Can I make it big? Oh, I got it. Come on, can I make it big? You want to make a big one? Yeah. Oh, look how pretty the colors of the buildings are. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful. Sirasha's Pottery Town is located in an alleyway that's hard to find, but it is a very vibrant area. Just stretch. How is the clay? Yeah, it feels so good. It's a white clay. Whoa! How's it feel, Jay? Is it soft or kind of? Soft. Yeah? This one has little flowers on it. Oh, let me see. Somebody put decorated theirs with little flowers. They could it. do like a... Where do you find clay? The in the earth. Yeah. There's a lot of it. I feel like in Colorado, around the Red Rocks area, you can find clay. Quite a bit of it. Like this much as this is a nice cup. Somebody made the nice. Yeah. Hi everybody. So today I'm going to be doing an interview about our pottery, and at the end a special surprise. So uh, our pottery, um, I it was a great experience. Just you know, putting your hands on the clay and feeling the wet. Like it's it's a weird feeling, but. You can just shape it into anything you want, which is really cool. Um, and I really enjoyed that experience. And Shirash made sure to point out that he uses a rare white clay that's easy to mold. So now we just have a bunch of baby kittens in the house. Comment on what we should do with them, but you want to see? This one's name is Peanut. Say hi, Peanut. Yeah, that's Peanut. Okay, I'm going to put him back because he's 